I recently dealt with a query in AutoCAD that confused me a bit because what the user had was this image that they had referenced in. So on your view tab under your external references, you can see that we've got this image that came in. Now in this case, unfortunately, or well, fortunately, the image does print. But the, the issue was that if they had a layout with a viewport that was zoomed in somewhere onto that screen or onto that view, that as it would show up, it would show up in the print preview, and then once they started printing it, then it wouldn't rasterize and it wouldn't print. And so the question is, why is it doing that? Now, in that case, there were a few things. So we had to look at the whether the, um, the draw order and everything was right, but everything seemed perfectly okay. And so what we did was then we troubleshoot this situation. We tried to paste the image in directly, not having it as a reference that came in. That didn't do the trick. And so I then reverted to having a look on the internet. And there was some help over here. So some of the things that they mention in this help is quite interesting. The one is that you can use the mView shade plot command to change the view to something other than hidden. So that would be within here. So you can use the mView command, mView. And then go with the shade plot option. And then say something other than hidden. So we might choose uh, wireframe for argument's sake. And then select that view and enter. And then try and print it. And again, the same issue would present itself. So that didn't solve the problem. We did that with all of the viewports that they had there. And so the other thing was then, all right, let's have a look at all of these settings. And so over here, you can see there are some system variables and settings that are designed to control the amount of system memory that AutoCAD uses when plotting files with raster images. And so what we did was then, and I'm going to do this now with Revit 2024 on my machine because I think it's relevant. It's like, well, I don't want to run in, into this problem, so I'm just going to increase this. And they say then that enter the, the raster percent from a value to 80 or more, the maximum is 100, all right, so let's set that to 100. We can paste that system command in, and then we say, well, currently it's set to 20%, all right, so let's go with 100. There, so that's maximum. Then we've got the raster threshold. Maximum is 2,000. There's 2,000. The raster DPI, triple its current value, so that's dots per inch. Let's see what they've got currently. Three hundred, well, nine hundred is extreme. That will give us a, a really, really detailed uh, print. And then also in the plot background, when you're plotting, uncheck uh, plot in check or uncheck plot in background. Again, we tried that, it didn't work. And then the plot dialog, check or uncheck plot transparency. It wasn't Civil 3D, so we didn't go there. Then there was a printer troubleshooting. And again, nothing that we tried there worked. <coughs> and then this last little bit that came up here, alternatively converse the raster images to OLE. And how to do that? Copy the raster image and paste it into a Word document or Microsoft Paint. And then copy the image for your chosen application above and paste it back into AutoCAD. And this actually worked. But in the case of the student, or in the case of the client, all they did was they, they pasted it into an AutoCAD file. And then they copied it from that AutoCAD file and then pasted it back into this file. All right. So I just want to record the size of this image on this page here. So we would get rid completely of this import. And unload that. Remove it. Detach it. 
detach it, that gets rid of it. All right. <clears throat> then we start a brand new file. Okay, so I'm just copying this file there. I'm pasting it back into a blank AutoCAD file. I'm just going Control V. Okay. And then from this application, Control Copy, Control Paste, and then we'll move and scale this element. back to the correct size. So this simple operation resulted in a correct print and that's over above everything else that we tried in this file to get this file to print. We'd e you know, One would even go into the page setup manager. There are different PDF plotters. Sometimes a different PDF plotter will make a difference. But you can even go in here into the properties, depending on the printer that you are looking at. There are even some settings over here with the graphics, with the vector control, and sometimes there's a raster control there with the PDFs, there aren't any. But we'd even try to change all of that, and nothing worked. The only thing that worked was copying and pasting that image as an OLE object from one drawing into the other. So, you know, if you ever get into the situation where you where you try and print an image in the background and it's not printing, no matter what you try, just copy it from another drawing into your drawing. And that might well uh, fix the issue. So until next time, enjoy AutoCAD. And enjoy your week.